Hey, it's that time of year again. Birmingham Guitar Show 2024. We went last year, it was awesome. So much to see and do, so much that we didn't get to see everything we wanted to see, to be fair. Uh, but this time looking forward to maybe revisiting some of the things we missed, as well as catching up on whatever new things uh, are coming out this year. Um, what am I looking for? Left-handed guitars, obviously. Come on, Birmingham. Let's get those lefties going. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an awesome day. It's been snowing. It's not stopping us. We're going to get there. We're going to have fun. I did film last year's Birmingham event just to get a vibe of it. Some people on that video said that footage was a bit wobbly, so I'm going to try my best to keep it stable this time. But bear in mind, I'm not, I'm not a filmmaker. I'm just a punter trying to look at all the cool things. But I am going to try and keep things steady. Let's go. I just did.
it's a tall guitarist, custom. That's awesome.
Finale di Medio Brezzo. Eh. Diese è awesome. Let's get that one in, what's it called? Do you name them or they just... Yeah. Pizza. So back from the Guitar Show 2024, awesome day, yet again, uh, this is the second time of me going and yeah, absolutely loved it, once again, just so much to see. What we did initially is we thought we'd just tour the whole space, see what we might want to look at and um, return to it a bit later in the day, but even with that plan, we didn't get to see half of what we intended to. So I'll quickly show you the map. Um, they give you a little map and it was split into two rooms so you got your main room there and that was like uh, an acoustic room with vintage guitars in as well um, and as you can probably see all these little black marks are things we wanted to return to but yeah like I said we didn't we didn't get through it all um, it's just there was just so much that, that we were into um, Hopefully the footage gives you an idea of what it's like there. Thanks to my wife for keeping it a little bit, a little bit more steady, you know, not with my crazy, ugh, excited two-year-old filming. But we didn't even film everything that we looked at, um, just because just we were so into looking at everything and being able to have a go on these things. And again, like I said to you before, the amazing thing about these shows is that you are able to get your hands on stuff that you maybe have only seen a picture of or seen a video of actually being there getting your hands on it and everyone just happy to let you have a go you know on a bit of kit that in some places they're not even gonna let you look at it do you know what i mean <laughs> it's like no man keep away from that amp you're not touching that unless i see that catch you know what i'm saying <laughs> but but here it's like yeah you want to have a go on that have a go 
and, it, and that that was that was the best thing just being able to try all this stuff out and with these trade shows you come away with some cool trinkety bits this is what I came away with today yo check out all the stickers badges pens let's go and so yeah we got some cool stickers pedal patch did some cool stuff um, I think I got a bit of footage of these guitars BSG musical instruments Jan Stovicek I hope I pronounced his name right acoustic guitars made in the Czech Republic and that was one of the nicest sounding guitars um, that I played there they didn't have a lefty I played it right-handed but it sounded amazing and, and the, the look of it as well was amazing so I'm definitely gonna check that website out buzzing bugs audio devices awesome we got Ernie Ball um, got a load of plectrums from there as well Hello Sailor Effects, I've not seen them before, but that was one of my favourite sounding pedals. There was a, a combined, it was like a combined fuzz and delay pedal. Um, I got a bit of footage on there um, and, I and I did actually play it when we were allowed to. I, I, I tried it out initially and I nearly got told off because it was the quiet time and he didn't have headphones. But I went back, played it, sounded amazing. Hello Sailor, that was one of the top finds today, as was um, this brand. CD collision devices, awesome. Just spoke to the guys, French made. They're like pedal experiments. The amount of the crazy sounds we were getting out of these effects was unbelievable. And we spent a long time messing about with that. Obviously, boss, loads of boss stuff there. Very cool. And, and come on, that is an awesome sticker. Let's go. I don't know if you saw my last video, but we uh, went back to Mojo. Awesome company, all Mojo cables. Flat lead guitar pedals, awesome. Um, they go on all their effects. I think there's a bit of footage of that. Oh, I'm chucking stuff over it. I think it, the guy's name's Paul. I hope it's Paul. Sorry if it isn't. He was walking me through all the effects and how they work to combine. And when he showed me how you, how you can combine them, it sounded amazing. So well worth a look. Flat lead. Went to Noisy Hammer again, and if you sign up to the mailing list, you get this cool uh, fridge magnet, which. We did, because Noisy Hammer stuff is awesome. I, I don't think we filmed that, but hopefully we've got a photo. If we haven't, check out Noisy Hammer. Um, and then a load of Ernie Ball stuff, Ernie Ball plectrums. I also finally had a go on Redbeard effects. I'll see if I can find a picture of, of the two pedals that I really liked. And they make basically loads of different gains and overdrives and combine them to make really weird heavy sounds it sounded really cool they also had the musicians union there and that was really cool to have a chat with those guys to tell you how if you are a working musician how you can look after yourself when out and about via the union and they also made us aware that if you're a student you get a massively discounted rate something like 24 pound a year and you're protected basically while studying hopefully we've got some photos of some of the, the other things that we saw because i I know we didn't film everything that we we looked at. There was so much that I enjoyed and so much that I, st I still wanted to go back to that I didn't have the chance to. But three three things that I found that I really loved are... So there was the combined fuzz and distortion by Hello Sailor. That, that pedal was amazing. Plus, his guitar was amazing. It was like a Les Paul that he had specially made. I don't really like Les Pauls, but that guitar was lush to play. Plus I was playing it upside down as well, so fair play who, whoever made that guitar, because <laughs> that was spot on. Um, so it was The Wall of Noise by Walrus Audio. Awesome pedal. It was, a combi again, a combined um, distortion and delay. Oh, and I, could, I, I think there's a bit of footage of me with headphones on playing it. I could have played with that thing for ages. It was such an awesome sounding pedal. Yeah, that was one of my highlights, playing with that. And my next highlight was an actual left-handed guitar. And I've got to say, actually, before I mention this, this year, fair play, there were more lefties. And I don't know, there's a little clip of me spotting a row of maybe five or six lefties that were actually playable, couldn't believe it. Fair play that there were more lefties on show this year um, and got to play a few acoustics as well. So nice one, Birmingham, you <laughs> you didn't disappoint even though I'd say still played more right-handed whilst I was there, but whatever, whatever. 
it is what it is. And there was just so much more to look at, to see. There were things to help with um, like earplugs, in-ear monitors. There was a music magazine there. There was a live stage where we saw uh, Dave Simpson trio playing. And yet th there was just so much. And all, you know, all your, your the big brands were there. Marshall, Dunlop, Orange. Um, and it was great to see those things. But I don't know, for me, I was just interested in all the, the unique independent stuff. I was also excited to see some guitars. I think it was Absolute Music had some awesome guitars. One in particular that I'd seen online. It's called the Fender Suona, I think it's called. And I was so they had they had the telly and the strap version there. Oh my god, it was so good to be able to get again getting your hands on these things that you've only seen on TV and you know typically won't come into contact with. Being able to actually have a go on these things and see them in the flesh. It's not the same, you know, looking at videos is not the same. And that's why it's so awesome to go to these shows, to get your hands on the stuff, have a play. Um, also what they do is they have quieter periods where you have to have headphones on if you want to try anything out. And they also have periods where you're allowed to play your amps for about 15 minutes at a time, which is cool so you can blast it a few things, but also if you're walking around, it's nothing better than listening to about 50,000 different competing riffs at horrendous volume. Love it. <laughs> Actually, that raises a fair point. I would, one thing I will say is we noticed it's quite a sensory overload. There's, it's bright lights, a million different things, thousands of competing sounds, plus it gets really busy at certain points. So if, if you are someone that struggles in those environments, just bear that in mind or go a bit later in the day because we noticed around about three o'clock, the amount of human traffic tailed down significantly. So yeah, if you want it a bit quieter, stick to the later part of the day. What did I come away with? Apart from the stickers, again, <laughs> we went to that Mojo Cables, baby. <laughs> but no, seriously, I was actually had my eyes on these since we went last year. Just patch cables. I could have, there were a million things I had my eye on, but I, I the trouble is you can get caught up really easily in just the, the the amount of amazing things and I try and think actually what do I need, what do I what do I use, what's gonna serve me best moving forward. And I thought my patch cable I got old knackered patch cables, so let's get some top quality ones. What I what I can do now is really think about what I saw, how I'd use it, sounds sounds I wanna create, um, and, th and, and use that experience to kind of think about any future purchases. So, yeah, Birmingham Guitar Show, amazing. Great for anyone that just likes looking at guitars. Great for anyone that's got an idea of, of what they want to buy and grab it there at show price, because there's normally discounts on most things as well. And great if you're hardcore guitar geek that loves the intricacies of valves and tubes and all sorts, just caters for everyone awesome day 2025 i've already got it planned already going <laughs> i'm already there mentally um but yeah hope this video has been useful and a big thanks for watching